Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, I've got a really bad cough. <laughs> um, I'm nearly over this cold, but never mind. Um, so thank you so much for joining me again on my YouTube channel. I'm still trying to get up and running, getting my name known out there, um, and I really appreciate that you've come back to watch me or that you're watching me for the first time. So I want to say a big thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my tutorials and um, one of my videos. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to jump right in because I know that this is going to be a long one. I've got lots to show you of things I've been making. Um, I'm <laughs> I've just had like the biggest disaster ever. Uh, total craft room crap catastrophe. Um, so basically, my I've been sat in here finishing off my last project with these really cute puppy dog dies. Um, I'll flip them over so you can see them like that. Um, and my husband brought me a glass of wine because I used some wine when I was cooking tonight. And then so we thought, well, we should probably finish the bottle. <laughs> um, so he brought me a glass of wine. And that was great. And then I would finished my card, spent an hour making it, and thought, okay, great. I'm going to have a, I'll have a sip of my wine, put it down. And I was like, right, I'm going to clear my desk. It put everything away, tidy up. And it just all went horribly wrong. So I knocked my glass of wine. But I didn't knock it, like just any old knock, is like, I took a full on bat to that glass of wine. Um, it is everywhere. My walls are covered, I have a tumble dryer in here, the tumble dryer is covered. Um, absolutely everywhere. And you know what I do, you know, clean my desk. What's the easiest, quickest way to clean your desk so you can start filming? Pile it all on a pile on the floor, right? So yeah, whacked it all over that as well. Um, and knocked it all over my box that I'd had all of my Elena projects in. Um, and so I'm absolutely devastated. Had a good cry. <laughs> Put my big girl pants back on. Um, and I'm going to show you what I've made. And some of it's ruined because I'm stupid and I knocked a glass of wine everywhere. So now at some point I'm going to have to repaint my office. <laughs> because it now has red wine all over the door, all over the walls. It's awful. Anyways, I've babbled for too long. I'm going to get started. Um, these are all Alina Crafts dies, um, which you can see here on the top. Uh, no, you can't because I'm not showing you. There we go. Um, she's wonderful, and if you watched my last video, um, I have been asked to be a design team member for her, and I'm really honoured and really excited because I love her dies. Love the quality. Um, she is on AliExpress, which is also known for copyright infringement on a lot of products. Um, you'll see a lot of name brand um, companies, dies and stamps and everything are used on there. But Alina does not do that. Alina has her own designs. She has people that design for her. She buys designs from other people. Um, but she does her 100% best to make sure that there is nothing copyrighted and sold on her site. So I think she's just awesome. And her dies are really cheap and really great. So these are the dog dies. Um, this is what they look like. I cut them out in loads of different things because it's great. I just left them all attached like that and ran them through my big shot and so then I could do absolutely tons. So here's pearlescent card. I'll zoom in a little bit for you and hopefully we can um, not get too crazy. I did it in some gold glitter and then I did it in some brown glitter as well. I have to keep remembering. I keep wanting to go to the my left but I need to go to my right to show you a bit easier. So I did some brown glitter. Um, they're really cute. I did some plain card stock for colouring in. Um, I might have done some watercolour as well for color water colouring. But basically I cut it out of a few different sheets of colours. And they're well cute. And they're quite big. Um, so these are all the little puppies. And I was trying to work out what to do. And I just thought my colouring skills, my drawing skills, they just aren't very good. So what I did instead was I made a card. And I thought these are quite good because they haven't got eyes, they haven't got details on them. So I thought if I did something kind of, I don't know if I'm using the right word, monochrome, um, where you basically go, let me just stick this over here, black and white. Um, and now, <laughs> this is where I cried loads, because I knocked my whole glass of wine all over my card about three minutes after I finished making it. So, oh, I'm going the wrong direction again. So here's my card. It's really sad. <laughs> um, it's in pearl card, so I use pearlescent if you can see the shine, pearlescent white on pearlescent black. And then I used my new paper pad that I got from um, Every Pound, uh, Every Crafts a Pound, um, the black and white monochrome, I think it's called monochrome, paper packs. So I used that to accent it. 
I ran out of the black cardstock because I was going to do the black card base with a white inside, but I had to do white instead. Um, so I'm going to remake this card when I get some time. My kids go back to school on Thursday, or Wednesday I should say, today's Monday. So I'm going to redo this card so I can take some beautiful pictures for Alina. Um, but this is what I made, and I just thought it was a cute little card, and you could say happy birthday, you could say whatever you like in it. I've left it blank. Um, but yeah, so I just thought that worked out really well, apart from pouring my wine all over it. So forgive that. Um, but like I said, I had a good cry, then we got over it, moved on. Right, the next ones that we're going to use are um, these ones here. They're the really cute tag dies that come with little side bases. So what I did was I made up a few. So I've got one with a stamp going that direction, which is a stamp up stamp. A few of these are, and a few are non-name brand. Um, and look, even that one got a bit of the wine. Um, so I did these tags, and I just thought it was really fun to put a bit of glitter on them. And then I've got these ready to go for any gifts that I give out. Um... But I thought they were really sweet. Um, now I'm looking at my camera again, which is probably why my voice is going loud than quiet and loud than quiet, because I have not yet worked out how on earth I can project it onto my computer, which is to my left, so I can see without having to turn my head every two seconds that I'm still in the shop. So once I get my technology lessons together, I'll sort that out. Um, but yeah, so on my screen, when I'm looking at the camera, this is all backwards and horrible, but I'm assuming by the time I put it on my computer, it'll all be the right way around. <laughs> but so there's all these tags here. Then I thought, actually, these are really lovely tags, um, and I'd really like to be able to have them ready to go. So I just cut a whole bunch out. And then I have a bunch of these, I don't think they're called D-rings, I'm not sure what they're called. Um, but I have a bunch of those. So I've got some plain white, I've got some pearlescent white. And I've just made up a whole bunch, stuck them on this key ring, and then I've got a little hook on my um, cabinet in front of me. And I'll just hook them on my cabinet, um, and then they're there and ready to go when I need them. And I can stamp whatever sentiment I want on them. Um, so I thought that was quite fun. They've got this really awesome hole. Um, so yeah, so these are brilliant. They are absolutely genius. You could stick them on gift bags, gift boxes. They just kind of add a little bit extra to them. And you can see the pearlescent shine there. I have a real obsession with pearl card at the moment. And if you're in the UK, go to Lime Tree Crafts. They are amazing. They have the cheapest pearlescent card I've found ever. You get 50 sheets for about a five pounds. It's amazing. I have bought so much from them. They do it in A3 and 12 by 12 a4 and A5. So um, the guy's name is John that runs the company. I think it's a family run business. Um, and it's great. Pop on over there if you want some pearlescent card. Right, so that's those. Now, another massive apology. In the wine chaos, I managed to lose one of my dyes from Alina. So I don't know where my dye's gone. Uh, but I'll try and I'll try and pop a little picture of it up in the corner to show you um, what the dye looks like, but this is how it cuts out. It cuts this dog, um, and it, oops, not a screen again, sorry. It cuts the dogs, three little cute puppies with their little ears that pop up, um, and it cuts those out, but it doesn't, it doesn't cut anything on the bottom, so you can have it however long you want. So I made some little place cards, so how can I show these? I'm going to have to zoom out, aren't I, so you can see the whole thing. Here we are. There we go. So I made these little place cards, like that. Um, and I did this one first, and I thought, actually, I think it'll look much better if I haven't got the border there. So, apologies again, because my wine got the better of this one. Look at that. Oh. So, you can see how I cut it. I cut it so that I cut the white card first. I folded it in half, and then I cut the white card. And then I cut my dogs. And, um, and then I just cut them straight off. So there's no line. Um, so if you can see, I just don't want it to, like... Oh, dear, I can't do this backwards thing. So you can see there's the cute little puppies, and they just rest on the top. And I thought that'd be really quite cute for, like, a place name at a birthday party, or if you've got dog lovers at a wedding, um, then you could have, like, the little name on there. Oh, sorry, I keep going backwards. I'm really struggling with this. I need the screen in front of me to see what I'm doing. Anyways, if you have tips on how to film and what I need to do to be able to put it on my computer, on my Mac, then please tell me. But anyways, I thought that was really cute. And, um, and you just put their name on the front. 
Or it could be like a little note card and you could pop it in an envelope and hopefully you won't spill wine all over it if you make one of those. So those are my puppies. And then this one, I haven't quite finished it. I don't know, I kind of got a bit stuck. So what I think I want to do is put like a, a layer on the front, a matte layer on the front and then another one. But I basically made an envelope. So I took some paper, that's the seam just there. Um, I took some uh, decorative paper and I folded it and then this die is coming coming up very soon. I will point out this die when I get to it. This is from a different set. But here's the puppies again and I got my colouring skills out and I just coloured them in. You can see them. Oh, wrong. Oh. There we go. So there's the little puppies coloured in with some alcohol markers. And then I just made a little card to go inside there. So basically you could write happy birthday, you could write a little note or a thank you card. Um, and then he just slides right in there. And then I designed it so that the puppy dogs rest right on that edge there on the inside. So that's with the card all the way at the bottom. Um, and then this says wish big. And I embossed it. Um, so the wish big, obviously the writing doesn't print out. But it's everything around it does. So that it highlights that. But there was too much brown on brown. So it's just not gone right. Um, but I really wanted to do this kind of style of card with an envelope where the dogs could just kind of be seen popping out the top. Um, and so yeah, so I thought these dogs were really cute and really sweet and they're just little puppies. Um, so yeah, that was quite fun. Um, right, so moving on. Next one, we've got uh, these star dies. And I might zoom in a little bit again, just to make sure that you can see everything nice and clear, because I don't think my camera shows very clear. So these are cute star day dies. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the first thing I thought when I saw them was that I wanted to make a tag. So I went and made this tag here. And again, I used pearlescent card, because I'm a little bit obsessed. Um, so it's, you can see the shine a bit. Um, and this just says all this time to create, which is a stamp set that I got at a craft show, which I really love. So I've just stuck down the star on one side. I found a die that was the same in my stash um, from AliExpress. It was just a circle die. And I just cut out a circle and pearlized card. Um, I just lined up the star to see if it would fit and then stuck it on. Um, oh, here they are. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's these. I cut these ones out in plain plain pearlescent card and then I coloured them in sorry my hair is getting in there so there's my tag sorry finish up with that that's my tag um, that I made and then these two are both cut in pearlescent card and then this one is coloured with um, water not water markers um, just normal water based ink markers and this was coloured in I'm like just trying to make sure I'm getting this right. Yeah, this one was coloured in with alcohol markers. And there isn't too much difference other than the fact that um, I found the water-based markers bled a little bit. Oh, there's the camera. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not making anyone motion sick. Um, so it kind of bled a little bit on there um, into each other. Whereas the alcohol marker didn't really seem to blend, um, bleed that much in comparison. Sorry. Um... So yeah, so I coloured these in, so just to give you an idea that you could cut them in white and you could add your own details to it. And because I'm obsessed with pearlescent card, um, it kind of makes it look like I've coloured it in metallic markers, which is <laughs> quite fun. So that's those. And then I took it another step up and I thought I'd add it to one of my handmade journals. So I make all my own journals from scratch, um, and my business is called Bound with Love by Sasha. Um, and I make all my own journals, so I take chipboard, I cut it down to size or backing board um, and I cut all my paper from really good quality um, copy paper like thicker than normal um, and then I cut everything, I punch all the holes in the paper and in the chipboard um, and I cover everything so it's, it's all made completely from scratch and um, this is one of the ones I've made. I'm going to replace the coils because they, they didn't bind very well so they're a bit wonky um, and I want them to match with the book, so I'm going to do the coils in black. So I'm going to replace these coils and put them in black. Um, but basically I just do that, so it's when you love what you have, you have everything you need. And then I've bound it with some greenish twine. Um, but yeah, so I use the stars there to kind of emphasise the sentiment on the front of my journal cover. Um, so that's what I did with those. And then we're going to move on to... We're going to do the boxes, I think. 
So we've got these dies here. Um, these ones I went a little crazy with. I just kept getting idea after idea after idea. Um, so these ones I've kind of done a ton with. So they cut like this. Um, and then if you cut them together, you get that. So it's not, not all that pretty. <laughs> I just thought I like to try it out and see what the layering is. So you, I guess if you want like kind of a rough edge on the inside, but I don't think it really goes with the hearts very well. So that's if you cut it together um, before you pull them apart like that. Um, but otherwise they come and they cut like this. They're quite cute. So I just got tons of ideas. Um, and I went a little crazy. So I've got, um, my daughter is in reception and we have just seemed to be getting birthday after birthday after birthday. So I thought I'd make up some birthday cards. So, um, these were quite sweet. This is the smallest one. Uh, and I just stuck it onto some card basically used up some scraps or you can use up some of your six by six inch paper pads. I've done a video on this which will be coming in the next couple of days um, showing you how I've made these cards. Not showing you how I made the base but I will do that. So I'll just show you all these cards at the moment. So I did a few. There's my pearlescent card um, and then I did a Christmas one. <laughs> It's never too early. And I did the edge in Wink Estella, and I've done this one on a video so you can see. And there's some Wink Estella dotted all around it as well, so you'll see that in one of my videos. Then, here we go. Fifth. Now, these will be coming up at the end. These are part of those letters dies that I was showing you. Um, and we've got a lot of fifth birthdays coming up this year because she's in reception. So I started making some fifth birthday cards, so I've added some little jewels down here, not jewels, um, enamel dots, and I did fifth on there, another happy birthday, and another, whoop, got a inside of something, <laughs> um, and then I did another fifth birthday par card, birthday party, no thanks, um, and then I did a more boyish kind of one with this frilly bit around here, and then another fifth one highlighting the other version of, um, uh, letters. So that's where I went a little crazy with these little squares, but they just worked out so perfect and beautiful on these cards. Um, I will take photos of all these cards, so if you'd like me to send you any of the photos, um, please let me know, and um, and I can do that. Then I decided I would see if I could decorate a box. So this is just a bog standard IKEA box <laughs> that I picked up on the clearance rack on sale um, just after Christmas a few years ago, and anything square these dies basically fit so it's quite sweet so I just did a series of different golds so we've got gold um, metallic gold glitter gold and then of course pearlescent gold and then I embossed the number five on here which is just from a stamp set um, that I picked up at a craft market a while back so just a standard box but I blinged it up with um, Alina's dies so that's that and then, now I have to be careful with this one, because, where are we going here? There we are. Um, I need to glue gun this top bit down. It's been a bit of a fiddly thing, because I've done it in glitter card, and because it pops up, it's just done my head in a bit. But that's where this die comes in. So there's our bow die. And if you look, I did all the size using Alina's die. Um, and this is the medium size, the, the next size up. Um, and it just fits this box perfectly. If I can find the link, I'll link it below. These boxes all came from eBay. And you got a pack of 50 with twine and tags. And I've done the video on how I assembled it and put it together. So my tutorial will be coming soon on how I made the box. Um, but the boxes all come from eBay and I'll try and find the link and put that below as well. Um, and then these are from... I think I got them off of Amazon, but they came from China. So I'm sure you can find these type of things on AliExpress as well. But here's Alina's bow and it's absolutely gorgeous and it fits on the top and just kind of makes it a nice little gift box. Um, and here's the bow die here. So you can't tell but that's the middle bit, that little um, line there is the middle bit which is actually underneath my little gem which was a bit silly because it was pointless putting it on. Well I mean it held the bow together and a bit nicer but um, there is a purple band under there. I don't know if you can see it. A little purple band. But I've got to hot glue that together. Um, but there's that box and that's where I use the bow on. I just thought the bow is so brilliant for things like that. You could stick this on a card as well. 
have a big bow and then a happy birthday below and that would be an absolutely brilliant card although you wouldn't want to pop it in the post because it would squish it down and it's quite nice being puffed up um so there we go then this next one i have got quite a few ideas but um Okay, this is going to probably glare into your eyes. I'm sorry, it's a metallic card again. Um, but basically, what I wanted to do with this, because I thought it was so perfect, is I've got this string. I've got a whole bunch of these pegs, which I bought in Canada when we were home a couple of Christmases ago. And I just thought it would be so perfect for going to my daughter's room um, to cut out a picture on each one and just kind of have like maybe five or ten of these um, along her wall and some string. And then just die cut out some pictures. So I don't have oval dies this big. So I've just ordered some on AliExpress. So once they come, I'll put this together and then I'll be able to stick it in Rosalie's wall. Um, but I just thought this would be really perfect, just kind of hanging on the wall with a bunch of photos on. And it would just look really, really pretty. So that's that die there. Sorry, I'm out of screen again. Um... And I just thought that would be really cute for di for doing photos. The other thing I wanted to do, but I ran out of time, was to put this on the front of one of my journals and have a really nice quote or sentiment in there, um, just to kind of frame it a bit. Um, so that's that die. Now, this is the die that was on the dog card. If I can find it. So this die here is a border die, and that's what I used here. So I'll move that up and you can see it a bit better. So it just literally does the, the top bit, like the dogs, and doesn't cut the bottom. So that's that die there. And I haven't actually done anything with all these extra bits. Um, I kept meaning to put them on projects, and then kept forgetting. I just got so distracted. But I've cut them out. So the smallest one, I think, is from, um, from the other uh, set of these uh, with the border dies. Um, the, the square border dies, but that's what they look like. And I wanted to try making some butterflies out of them, and um, I never got around to it. Try and zoom in, but I'm gonna get it all horribly wrong, aren't I? So, anyways, there's there's those. Um, so that's that set there. Let me move all this stuff out of the way so I can keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Still got more. Um, right, moving on. I'm gonna do. What should I do? I'll do these ones first. And what I made with them. So there's those dies, the letters and the numbers. Um so if you remember those. Where am I going? That way. Oh, I'm going that way this time. So that's those. Um and I cut out uh just I've I've cut out a few, you'll see them in a minute, but just so you've got them on paper to see. So there's um a U and you'll see why I've got a U. And then there's the TH um, from the from the abbreviations from the numbers. I didn't actually cut any of the numbers out yet. Sorry. Um, so we've got those. Now, what I decided to do was get ahead of the game because I'm always late. And I did a Mother's Day card. So you can see that. And I did it in glitter card. And this is my new paper that I picked up from my haul from the Every Crafts a Pound shop. So this is the small 6 by 6 paper pack, which was £1. And then the glitter card is the yellow glitter card that came in there as well, which was £1. So did that little note card. Um, it's just blank on the inside. So did that. Then, moving on, I will break out the big ones. So we've got the big dies, and I've loved these. I've played with them loads. Um, so these are the big intricate ones, which they all come apart, come separate. So you can see in here, there's like the outline. Um, so you've got the outline and then the inside. So there's the outline of the O, and there's the inside of the O. Um, and so with these ones, I did the same thing. I thought, let's get ahead of the game. So I did a Mother's Day card, and there's the same paper again. And I've backed it with a backing of gold and done the letters in gold. And then... When I finished that one, I thought, oh, I want to stick the pearlescent card under it as well. So here we are. Here's my pearlescent card base. And then I've got the pearlescent card, the same pearlescent card behind 
um, the letters and it just looks stunning. I'm really, really happy with this. And, um, and my mother and my mother-in-law will probably watch this. And so, mom and mum, <laughs> here's your card. Surprise! They're made, so when you don't get them in the post on Mother's Day, don't shout at me, at least I made them. <laughs> Ah, uh, I think maybe I'll just post them this week and then I can feel a little bit better about making it on time. I'm terrible. Right, so there we go. And then, then I had this fun idea and this, I made some bunting for Rosie's room to go with her pictures that I'm getting printed. So give me a minute here to organize this. So I cut out using my paper from my cheapo haul and look, I got wine on it. I hope she won't notice. She's only five. I don't think she'll care. Um, but here we go. And it says, Rosalie. I don't know if you can see the whole name. There we go. And so I made a little bunting banner. And I can't really hang it up for you to see. Because it'll all go off camera and off screen. But I did all the letters of her name. And used... Alina, I hope you like this. I know she's going to watch this video. Look what I used. My favourite dies in the whole world from Alina is these are these tag dies. So there's a girl on YouTube called Crafty Cakes. Uh, I should say a lady, not a girl. Um, and she's awesome. And she's been using Alina's dies for ages. And she's the one that got me hooked on these dies. She is also the one that got me hooked on Tool, <laughs> which is this beautiful stuff here. This is all from AliExpress. I've got loads of these from AliExpress as well. And... Um, Crafty Cakes is just like, oh, bad news, man. I've, I've spent so much money with because of her. But anyways, she uses these a lot, and I have become in love, and I have used them absolutely tons. Um, I've used them so much, I bought myself a second set. So now, when I cut my, my tags out, I can do two at once. Because <laughs> um, this is my favourite size here, and that's the size I used on those, um, on the bunting. So, um, yeah, so Alina never, ever, ever stops selling these because I will probably buy my third set at some point because I use them all the time. Um, but that's what I used. I used those tag dies and I used my cheaper one pound paper from every crafts a pound and you get a massive bundle in it and it's really cute. And I did think, should I back it? Cause it is paper and I thought, should I back it onto some cards? And then I thought, actually, no, it'll be fine. Um, if I need to, then I can pull it down and I can stick some of my pearlescent card on the back of it. Um, but yeah, so that's that was my idea with that. And I just absolutely love this. I have no idea how I'm going to photo like photograph this. I was going to say photograph this, but that's not the right word. And I promised you I had one sip of wine. <laughs> so <laughs> my words are slurring. It has nothing to do with that. Um... <laughs> Anyways, um, the other thing I wanted to say is I, I cut out loads of these little little guys because I had big plans to make some bunting on cards with them as well because they're really sweet. So I thought if I ran some string through them and just kind of did like a mismatch of like the various sizes, I could kind of hang it from a card and have it like bunting on a card and I could use up loads of my scraps and use up my pretty like papers to make bunting as well. So that's another idea with these, is like, they'd be really cute. And I'm meant to do a sample, and I never did. Um, I just kind of ran out of time, and I really just wanted to get this video up, because it's been a while. Um, but these are all my projects, and I will try and find that puppy dog die, and pop that photo of that somewhere in there. If it doesn't pop up, it'll be in the link, um, in a link below. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've got two more videos I've already recorded that will be coming online as tutorials to show you how to make everything. Not everything, sorry. How to make some of my projects. Um, but please do like and share my videos with people. Um, and if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, and please do subscribe. I am absolutely thrilled that in this past week I have had over 100 new subscribers in one week. And my last video ended up with, I think it's about 700 views at the moment. So I'm totally gobsmacked and really, really, really grateful. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Alina has said she's sent me my next bundle. So I'm going to get planning as soon as I see what I'm going to get. And I will be so excited to share with you again. Um, but otherwise, stay tuned to my channel. My children start school in one day. 
and I will be using up things in my craft room and showing you what you can make and providing you with some tutorials and I hope we can have lots of fun together. So thank you so much for watching me and um, yes, have a great, it's not Christmas, it's not New Year's, have a great week. <laughs> Thanks, bye.